Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now, guys, as usual, let's take a look at the gold market in second video. So you can see, uh, returning back to our weekly research, what we have talked about the perspective of the gold market, so whether it will be able to <clears throat> starting up reduction or it will double the harmonic swing down. So as a result, even on Monday before uh, the before the Fed meeting, you can see that market has dropped, and the grabbers that we, we we had in the beginning of the week that was formed last week, so here and here has been erased by this by this candle. Uh, at the same time, market was drop, uh, has dropped below the free, uh, 1343 FIB support, and now it stands below it. So actually, we do not need this level anymore because it has been broken. Now we have two levels to watch for, or on the current week, probably better to say just one level to watch for. It's approximately 1330. It's confidence support. Potentially, market could drop slightly lower because for a gold market, it's not a problem to dive inside of our, our solid condition, but who knows? But anyway, let it be uh, this level and 1315, it's next confidence support. So doubling the harmonic swing here, so probably points on an area around 1316, 1318, or somewhere near the daily ever sold. Uh, but of course, this mostly will depend on the non-farm payrolls uh, release. In general, guys, it seems that payrolls should be good because too much uh, reversal patterns are forming right now across the board. So we'll take a look, for example, uh, New Zealand dollar, you'll see that there is double repo sell is forming after the strong rally that I Kiwi uh, has shown. Uh, on the Canadian, on Australian dollar, also see some signs of the reversal. On the Japanese yen, guys, yesterday that we have discussed the possible setup of the downward continuation in the market and the result of the Fed meeting has jumped. It has formed uh, the bullish grabber on the monthly chart, so it suggests really significant action potentially. It's not a question whether it will form or not, but potentially, guys, we have on a different currency and different assets some patterns that stands in favor of the United States dollar. Also, we have the uh, bullish comments, uh, hawkish comments from the Fed uh, when they confirm that inflation should, should quicken in the nearest time, and it's really big. Uh, stake on the possible rate increase in March. So uh, that's why, guys, in the gold market, it's not an exception, and I will not be surprised if we will see the moderate retracement on all markets across the board, because uh, you probably should remember that a lot of markets right now also stand into very strong support resistance there in the monthly charts. So it's your currency dollar index that includes actually the six major rivals of the United States dollar. So um, that's why it's really not... Uh, small ch uh, chances that this will happen. And uh, by this reason, we need to take a look at the bit, uh, broader picture on the, on, the, on the gold market as well. So yes, we could t talk about that in 30, but what, what does it mean that market wasn't able to reestablish our protection here? Uh, what does it mean that it has erased the bullish grabber? It suggests that some weakness on the market, and it suggests that probably downward action could continue, and another leg down could be formed. So if you take a look at our... Um, ABCD pattern that we have, take a look at the reaction, guys. So market has formed this ABCD pattern. Reaction on the reaching of the OP was rather small. So it's approximately 30% 30, 30 retracement has been formed here, right? And yesterday, up prediction market has tried to continue to move higher, but has failed and now is dropping. It means that the probably next destination point of this ABCD will be uh, 1390. It's XOP target. Uh, stand somewhere between the confidence of uh, this area and that area. But who knows what reaction will be on the non-farm proposal. This will be maybe some strong action market could drop even below this XOP target. But what is more important that this behavior in relation to the target uh, doesn't let us to treat this action as a retracement, just as a retracement. It mostly tells that it's probably something greater. It's not just a retracement, guys. Because if it would be just retracement, our market here should reestablish our projections. Some 
th thrust action, something something of that sort, because OP destination point right at the daily conference is enough to just for a technical bounce and after that rally should be should continue. But here we don't have something of that sort. Correspond also guys, take a look at the bit contraction chart. You could see that here we could get kind of the probably hand and shoulders passion or something of that sort. So maybe market will form uh, in this manner, or maybe it will be otherwise down downside downsides market will hit. For example, XOP, it will be neckline downward sloped. So in this case, it could become a reaction up, and then it could be some large A B C D action. So that's also possible. So what we see, that's what we see right now on the gold market. But uh, for the short-term perspective for today, tomorrow session, guys, more important is the reaction. It was really very small and gradual, not, has no signs of the upward action. Uh, it's mostly just retracement, technical bounce up from the target. It suggests more, it gives more chances to just downward continuation. On the hourly chart, guys, we do not see something really special. It's some kind of a triangle consolidation is forming. Um, this market right now is trying to break it down so but anyway guys everything will depend mostly on uh, results of the non-farm bureau so if you would like to, to go long here guys I think that it's better to wait for real support areas that will could protect your position at least uh, for for some time uh, that would let you to move your stop to the break even some technical bounce will happen something of that sort so although markets continue to move down, in general, we could say that those who have decided to take long position here were, were wrong. But although they were wrong, this bounce let him let them chance to move stops to the break even. When you're buying from the some support area, uh, that's why I think that we, should, we could uh, do this something of that sort, but uh, at the next support area. So we need some deeper action, and as soon as market will reach some confidence, we could. Uh, think about the taking long position if we also will get some bullish passions on our back. But currently, guys, taking into consideration this potential hand and shoulders, I think that's not a good point right now, right now for taking the long positions. But to wait for the, for the deeper support areas. If you would like to go short, well, maybe this construction of the hand and shoulders will help you some, somehow. Uh, maybe you will be able to use it in your trading plan.